hello today I'm here with a new video and if you think I'm looking strange you can look at this video why uh, today it is time for my third update with my low buy the date today is 26th of September and uh, yeah I planning on have this up in the beginning of of October so I need to film it today because I'm going away this weekend so okay we are doing my update and a little <laughs> disclaimer I will leave all my other videos regarding my low buy down in the info and maybe also up in card I don't know how many videos it is now maybe off it up in card but a little disclaimer I haven't counted base products that I have bought refills of because I don't have a problem with base products and also maybe I bought too much or, okay this is my low buy uh, and my rules I have said for myself it's okay to buy three items per month no base products and no eyebrow products are in this three items per month and if I like spread this over the whole year I haven't bought more than three items per month so okay we have it there so I am just going to start to show you the things that I have bought and maybe talk a little bit about if I have a new experience since my last update and this year is almost over and how I feel I am to I am going to do like an update in December and maybe like a recap of the whole year when I do a big haul with all the things I bought this year but okay yeah we just get started and I'm going to start with something that is new for me but that I haven't paid for this I got in PR from the amazing Kaleidos Cosmetics and that is their new Futurism palettes so this is VR Neon and this is Electro Turquoise I got this in PR, I am so grateful and it's so unreal still. So these I have, I haven't bought it so I didn't count this as an item because I didn't buy them myself. Then I have some base things that I have bought that wasn't, that I haven't count and one is a new eyebrow, <laughs> eyebrow shapener, eyebrow things, this is perfect eyebrows. Fiber infused volumizing tinted brow gel, longest name ever from Eden Minerals. It's a Swedish brand. Really like this and I needed something new to my eyebrows. Then I bought a new... Or did I? I have talked about this, but why? Okay, I bought a new foundation because I was at the store that this was like half off, so I bought it backup and the one I have now is almost empty and then I bought a new concealer because my concealer ran out and this hmm, I don't really like this this is H&M flawless concealer I think it's too thick so I don't like it but I bought it so that was the base products and now maybe over to more fun things that I've counted as items so we can start with one thing I've counted as one even though it's free Yes, I like to cheat. So this is the NYX Bear With Me blushes. I bought them from a friend, Louise Andersson. I can leave her Instagram. She is Swedish. I don't know what to call her. She is like an influencer, but I don't know if she herself would call herself an influencer. I bought these from her. I love them so much. I have talked about them before. They are so good and maybe they are even better if I can close the lid so these three love them has been super big favorites of mine and then I have bought two new lipsticks these are from Linda Holberg they released five new colors and I only bought two of them and I bought famous that I really love this is like a more I love the pink opal um this is like pink opal but like brown instead it's like my lips but better crunchy version love it 
And the other one that I really, 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 really love is Extra. This is like... It's like a glitter lipstick. It's like a glass in a stick form. And it's... This is amazing. Used it so much the whole summer. So these... So happy. I want to buy more colors. And okay, then over to more fun things. The eyeshadow palettes. So we can start with the one I bought First, I think I finally have the Oceanic palette by Ace Boutet. I guess that a lot of you know that I wanted this so so bad. I bought it when it came to Beauty Bay the first day, and I love this so much. It is such a good palette, and I think it's my favorite blue and green palette. I love it. It has some grungy colors like this seaweed and this one I love this so so much and I also have done make an order from Colourpop and the thing I want to say now I feel a little bit proud of this and this wouldn't have happened like say in the beginning of this year or last year, this wouldn't have happened. I bought three monochromatic palettes. I bought the Orange You Glad, Aha Honey, and the Blue Moon. And if you know, if you have ever shopped from Colourpop, to get free shipping from the US, I think it's outside the US. Okay, to have them shipped to Sweden, you have to buy for more than $50 to get free shipping. These three palettes is $36. But I was like, no, I am on a low buy. I cannot more buy one more thing just to get free shipping. So I didn't. I paid for shipping for the first time from Colourpop. And that would have never happened. I have never done that before. I paid, I think it's $10 for shipping. I think that was pretty good. And it feels like that shows that I have changed my mindset because I have always been one of these person that buy extra things to get free shipping even if it's maybe not things that I want I have done it now I have two things left and one thing I have in my hand and the other one hasn't arrived yet so the one thing I have in my hand is Lethal Cosmetics Single Shadows I picked out these shades I love this palette. This is like me in a palette. I love it so, so much. And I am really impressed by the shadows. They are so good and it's going to be so fun to play with these more. It was so hard though to only pick 12, but I did it. Didn't buy more. Only 12. And the last thing that I haven't got yet, but that I have paid for, is the new palette from Shroud Cosmetics formerly known as Strobe Cosmetics. I bought the Arcana palette. It's coming in October, I hope, or it's going to be shipped out in October. I'm not going to have it for like the end of November with the Shady Postal Service. So I bought that one as well. And I am looking so much forward to have it in my hands. Okay, so maybe for a little recap, how have I been doing? It has been good. Uh, I, the urge to shop new things is always getting lower and lower and lower and lower. And that feels really, really good. I haven't feel that I have missed out on things. And I feel the same as I did three months ago. I don't know what more to update you on doesn't feel like these last months is going to be a struggle for me. Maybe I shouldn't say that because I guess there is going to be fun holiday releases. But now I am like more okay to wait on things. I really want the Warrior 3 palette from US Place. But I am like, I can wait for it because I'm never going to be first with anything to do a first impression. So I can wait and wait till it gets to Beauty Bay so I don't have to pay the extra shipping or the customs but now I maybe have to because Brexit shit is happening so 
yeah that feels I don't feel stressed about it and I am happy with my makeup as it is I have had the opportunity to buy things that I have wanted so that feels really really good so yeah I really hope that these three last months is going to be good as well I like don't know what to say because not that much has happened these three last months so I don't know what more to update you on but I am thinking of doing a low buy update on my no skincare this year I don't know if you want to see skincare or not I have made some skincare videos and they haven't been so popular but do you want me to show you the skincare that I have bought this year I have maybe wiggled I have maybe stretched the rules a little bit, but I still feel that I am inside frames with my low buy on skincare because I had a serious pro problem before this year, if we say it like that. I still use tester products that I have, and it is soon October, and I have been able to live on testers with face creams for over nine months and that I don't really know what to say about that that says a lot about my skincare habits and how much testers I have <laughs> but I'm like through almost all the testers now and it feels like but yeah, if you want me to update you on how my skincare is going, if you want it now or if you think I should wait to the end of this year and do like a big skincare haul and then a year long makeup haul, please let me know and I will of course fix it if you want it or I maybe just do it but then I maybe wait until the end of this year before I do a big skincare haul. So yeah, I really hope you like this update even though it may be became more than a whole video than an update on my low buy but it feels like I have been through the rough months and I don't like that I sound like a recovering addict when I talk about this I'm sorry um but yeah I really hope you like this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I will see you in the next one bye